Welcome back to Secondhand Overland. I'm your host, Matt Kester. Today we're talking about the Blue Eddy EB55 power bank from Blue Eddy. Blue Eddy sent us this item gratis to review, so just know that going in. Blue Eddy's power bank is essentially just like everybody else's power bank, but not. It is a 550 watt hour rated battery pack, well, the actual ratings right here, that features this many connections to hook into. Here's my pros of the Blue Eddy. I really like the form factor. It's a square box. Nothing beats a square box and you don't have to deal with a protruding handle if you don't want to, you just fold it away. And that square box is nice because ingenuitively they have put in a wireless charging system right in the top of the box. Then there are plenty of plugs all around to get everything done right off the front of the machine, which again, owing to its nice square feature, you don't have connections going all over the place. I like to count on having one place that I have all those connections so I can pack other things and tie it around the other sides of things. And when you have electrical connections, the worst thing you want is something smacking up against an electrical connection and separate the connection. Oh no. Where this thing really begins to shine past the competition is when you get to the heart of the matter, its internal batteries. Most of the competition use lithium ion batteries. If you've been watching the news over the last 10 years or ever tried to ship an iPhone, you're likely aware that lithium ion batteries aren't very popular with the aviation and transportation industries. Lithium ion is very energy dense. It's able to hold up to 200 watt hours of power per every kilogram of material. This energy density makes lithium ion batteries highly unstable, however. When they get unstable, they tend to want to explode or catch fire. I don't know about you, but the last thing I want to have to worry about is a battery fire ruining my trip. They also don't have the best longevity, with most listing a drop in battery efficiency to 80% after just 500 recharge cycles. Blue Eddy circumvents these issues by equipping the EB55 with lithium iron phosphate batteries. While they only have a power to weight ratio about two thirds of that of lithium ion batteries, they take about five times as many recharge cycles to degrade to 80%. They are also much more stable, which means they're much less likely to burn your vehicle or home to the ground when you're using them. There is a trade-off, however, and you will find this unit weighs about three pounds more than its Jackery or Goal Zero counterparts, topping the scales at just over 16 pounds. And that equates to about a 15 to 20% weight increase over those big name brands. As long as you're okay with the weight though, the objective truth is that this unit is by far superior to those offered by Jackery and Goal Zero on paper. I love this light. The light on the back of it is amazing. Uh, everybody else puts just like a little dinky flashlight light in there and it's like, no, Blue Eddie thought about this. You're gonna be putting this thing on top of countertops or other things and having the ability to go ahead and just light up that area with the thing was just ingenious. That is great. Big wide diffused light out of something that just lives in one area like that is so much better for me than spotted focused light. So good on you there, Blue Eddie. Power output, this thing does have a 700 watt peak power output, which is a little bit higher than what other people have. It also does have an onboard charge controller for the power cells coming in. So if you're using uh, something like the Renogy panels and saving money as opposed to buying the big high dollar panels that vendors sell for their own exclusive stuff, uh, you can get away with that with this thing. We've been using our Renogy 100 watt suitcase with it with no problems. Now moving on to some things I don't like. Well, a good power bank should be seen, not heard. And well, this thing's loud. It's loud on its own internal fan when it turns on, when it's charging or discharging. But then the AC power converter that they included with it is noisy as all hell. Like honestly, my buddy Don bought the KG1000G from Ocean and said that the fan on that radio was the most irritating thing uh, that he'd ever seen. Well, he should probably try this plug-in power source from Blue Eddy. It is like a jet aircraft taking off in the living room every time I plug it in and then it just stays on. Probably the thing that is most irritating to me and most, I think, unforgivable is the battery remaining gauge on the face of the unit. 
You see to the right, they're showing you an actual digital readout, the power coming in and the power discharging from the battery in real time in nice, beautiful digital numbers. But then when it comes time to display the percentage of the battery you have remaining, you get your choice of 100%, 80%, 60%, 40%, 20% or done. That's not very helpful when you're out in the field trying to decide if you do need to plug the thing in or, or just exactly where you are. It's just not that comforting knowing that you only have five steps of measurement trying to gauge how much power you have left. In fact, I would have rather had a digital readout for the power remaining over that uh, wireless charging pad any day of the week, hands down. Oh, here's another point. Here's another one I don't like. Um, apparently, I get it. Materials cost money, but they really shorted you on the power cords with this thing, uh, especially the 12 volt cigarette lighter one. I actually had to use an extender just to get the power cable from the cigarette lighter at the front of the Discovery, get the box back far enough to then plug into the power cable on the set power fridge and maintain in charging power and discharging power. So they could have given you a little bit more there to work with, I think. I do think it is a good value for the price, especially stacked up next to the competition. It's also worth noting that every once in a while you do see Blue Eddy come out with some discounts on these things that put it below the $1 per watt hour threshold that's kind of become the norm as far as pricing when it comes to these power units. Anyway, so that's that. If you're interested, I'll put a link in the description below. Hey Matt. Yes, dear. Where's my light? Oh, thanks. I'm Matt Kester. Be good.